Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I've got a spooky haul video for you today. Um, this, oh, I can't even remember the last time I did a haul video. This is probably a couple of months, the last couple of months full of stuff. Um, it is a lot. So this is probably going to be more than one part. Uh, you're actually watching this while I'm on a road trip, which I'll definitely have a few vlogs and stuff from. I'm actually going to visit the hotel that the outside of The Shining was, that was used for the outside of The Shining in the Timberline Hotel in... Oregon. So, yeah. That'll be fun. Should make for a fun video. Anyway, let's get started on this haul. It's not completely organized by store, but I'll try to group as best as I can. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So, we got um, a TJ Maxx haul. This is a big candle. It is sand and fog uh what is that it is fright night it is a two wick candle and it smells really good it smells like kind of i don't know it smells like it's cinnamon but it's got like a uh kind of a red hot candy cinnamon sort of but not syrupy sweet like i i, I never claim to be the best about describing candles but there are people who can do it like super well anyway like red hots and apples I would kind of say I think it's really good hopefully these are like good candles um, I've never had one before it was $7.99 at TJ Maxx oh by the way guys at the end of the haul videos I will um, film everything in the light, so if you can't see it all, just stay tuned until the end, and you'll get a really good look at everything. It's just way better if I film it in here, at least while I'm talking about it. So, also that day at TJ Maxx, I got a fake candle. I guess I was on a candle kick that day. Uh, this was uh, $5.99. So, yeah. Thought it was pretty cool. I mainly, I really like the house on it. Um, yep, yep. Hopefully, I can, hopefully it lights up well. So, my favorite find that day at TJ Maxx was this mug. Isn't that cool? So, I really love this mug. I think it's, I couldn't believe it actually because I had seen this on videos online and I, I just wasn't go. I wasn't on the hunt enough where I just didn't think I would be able to get it. It's not Ray Dunn or anything like special. It's just, you know, Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls released so much stuff, and I just didn't think I really stood a chance. And I walked into TJ Maxx in Sherman, Texas, actually, and it was like the only mug on the shelf. <laughs> so. I felt really lucky. I've kept, I've been drinking out of it. I've kept the price tag on the bottom all this time so I wouldn't forget it. It was $7.99. Uh, I really, it's just, I need a, a good black and orange mug, you know? Like, I only have, I have several spooky mugs, but only a few, like, Halloween, Halloween mugs. So, I need another one. Okay, so now on to something that uh, I got from one of our many trips to at home. And we have the um, cloaked reaper snake skeleton guy. Uh, he was $14.99. Uh, he's like pretty tall. And I thought he was different. I thought he was, um, yeah, kind of a different look and uh, definitely well made. So, again, that was from At Home. I'll see if I can find something else from At Home and this giant pile of stuff behind me. Alright, so I got this Dark Decadence Lantern from At Home for $19.99. And I think it is really cool. It flickers, which, you know, is like a criteria for a good lantern. We gotta have the realistic candle flicker 
Uh, it's got like a spider print on it. It's, um, it's got glitter on it, but it's not like, you know, obnoxious glitter. So I was actually torn on this next thing from at home, from, from at home. Um, yeah, I, uh, I wasn't sure about it, and you know what? I just kept thinking about it, so I'm like, well, if I just, if I'm still thinking about it, I must want it. So I went back as, on a special trip to get this one, and I just put batteries in it, so let's see how it does. Oh, wow, those are bright. Those are so bright. So, uh, here, let me turn those off so you can see it. <laughs> wow. So these are the, um, I have no idea what to call them, little kind of flowers with eyeballs in them. Uh, reminds me of that Target line that a lot of people were crazy about uh, a few years ago where they did the plants. Um, this one I feel like is a little bit more like dark and kind of decrepit looking. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't do happy flowers around here. <laughs> <laughs> we do like kind of you know something that might be like I don't know growing in the back of the mad scientist house on the hill in Edward Scissorhands that's what I look at or that's what I think of when I look at these not like I don't know spooky spooky eyeball flowers turn it on again I cannot believe how bright this is it's like a flashlight. <laughs> Maybe I should leave them on a little bit and let the battery die down some. Uh, these were $20 at, at home. <sighs> All right, so now for this big giant thing at my feet, which I absolutely love. Um, I got this online at Target. <laughs> So loud. Oh my god, it's so loud. Look at this beautiful thing. This is the giant Target cauldron. Um, I missed out on the one at home, but I was not missing out on this one. I ordered it as soon as I saw it um, in stock online. I don't know if it's still in stock. So to even find this, you need to search threshold car. Ugh. You need to search Threshold Cauldron on the Target website. Um, I have not seen this in stores. Look how big this thing is. And it is metal, as you can hear, <laughs> and glorious. It is so big and so nice. I am extraordinarily happy with it. And in order to get free shipping at Target.com, you have to spend $35. So I also got, along with the $30 cauldron, these $10 string LED wooden raven lights. You totally cannot see them, probably. Let's get one out. There we go. So it's not lit up right now, but it is a little wooden raven shape. Hopefully these look good when they're kind of turned on. All right, so that is all from Target so far this year. I've definitely seen a couple of other things I want. We'll see if uh, I can manage to get some <laughs> of that before it's gone. So now for what I bought actually this past weekend at Big Lots or, well, I don't know if it'll be this past weekend by the time you guys see this, but I bought it this weekend at Big Lots. It is a fabric tablecloth. Um, yeah, so this, if you watched my Big Lots video, um, I mentioned this on here. So notice it says 60 by 102 inches on there. And it's $12. Well, there were also some that were like, 50 by 72 inches they were also $12 <laughs> so I don't know I mean I like I wouldn't be that surprised if this label is wrong because Big Lots had some kind of some uh janky stuff up in there <laughs> like you know some stuff that I like oh they had one of those uh sparkly trees like that it kind of looks like the um $5 Target black trees but I 
picked it up and it fell apart in my hands. So, uh, you know, big lots is big lots. Anyway, I'll be interested to see the actual measurement of this. Uh, but I do think it's really cool and it's fabric. I like fabric tablecloths. Always good if you can throw it in the washing machine. Um, has lots of nice colors. Let's see it again. Also, at uh, Big Lots, I got this guy. A sort of shiny stack of skulls that light up. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it is flickering. Yeah, I thought these were pretty cool. They feel really well made. Um, kind of nice detail on the skulls. And uh, I don't... I just think it'll look nice on some of my tablescapes for this year. Uh, it was regular $25, but uh, Big Lots has their stuff marked down to 20% off already. So, yeah. I don't know what I whatever 20% off uh, $25 is. So, like 20 ish um yeah oh my gosh you guys so this next one we have to we have to talk about um it's definitely special to me but they also uh they're online too so everybody needs to check these guys out it is elm street toys in allen texas this store sells is a horror themed toy store but they sell like legit horror themed stuff. It is so awesome. The store is so cool, you guys. It is less than 10 minutes from me. I don't know how that they knew that I lived here, but they did. Elmstreettoys.com. They sell online. Oh, it's just the coolest thing ever. I'm definitely going to do a video in there and go and show you guys everything because it's the coolest thing ever. But I'll show you what I bought on my first trip there just to show you. Like, at this point, I am, like, keeping myself from the store I, because I could spend so much money in there. They have the coolest stuff. All right, so I'll show you what I got. I've been wanting a shirt like this for so long. It is Quince Shark Tours on Amity Island. Look how cool. It is so cool. I love this shirt so much. It was only $20. You know, for what they are for being such a specialty store, they really do have pretty reasonable prices. Like, uh, all right, we got more. Hang on. I also got a thousand piece shining puzzle. Um, it has the two twins and it says, come play with us, Danny, uh, for $14.99. Yeah, this is going to be really hard. It's pretty much all red and black, but isn't it cool? Uh, I love it. Okay. So I also, from there, got a Halloween, a really nice quality Halloween pin. It is the Jack-O-Lantern. Complete with a little slit from the nose to the mouth. You know, I hate it when they try to say it's a Halloween jack-o'-lantern and it doesn't have the slit from the nose to the mouth. Like, like you know. Halloween, like the movie. So, yeah, you probably can't see it that well, but I'll, I'll show you in light um, later on in the video. But, yeah. It's really nice quality. Uh, oh, man, it doesn't have the price on here, but I think it was like... I want to say it was like $9.99. It is a Trick or Treat Studios pen. Um, and it's really cool. Okay. I have like refrained from putting it on anything so I could show you guys. Uh, I also got, I think these were three for a dollar. Something like that. Uh, the stickers. So I got a little, a little Chucky one. And a little Sam one. And a Jack Torrance one. 
Ugh, my husband picked those out for me. Like, he, she showed them to me, and the guy at the register was like, who was super nice, by the way. The guy at the register is super nice. Um, he was like, uh, oh, they're three for a dollar. I think that's what he said. Three for a dollar, and um, yeah, my husband knows me. <laughs> Perfect stickers. Um, all right, so that is all for now from that store, but... Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine the amount of money I'm going to spend there once Halloween is over. Once my entire paycheck isn't being taken by everything else. But yeah, please check them out. Elm Street Toys. ElmStreetToys.com. Allen, Texas. Like, if you are a horror fan and you're within two hours of Allen, I think you should do a little, like, city trip and come on over and, you know, go to the store. It's amazing. It's worth the trip. Grab some food. <laughs> Check out. There's plenty of Halloween st stores that like sell Halloween stuff around here. So you can make a day of it. Just, yeah. Come come support this store, please. So that was the end of part one of my haul. Uh, it will continue. But I got to split this into two parts. So I have some chance of getting it uh, edited in a timely manner. So thank you for watching. Uh part one of my 20 well okay so I already did a 2021 haul that I think I called part one so I guess this is part two but it's part one of what I got for the end of August anyway we'll just call this part one how about that <laughs> uh, so I'll see you uh, on the next spooky haul